Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Now, I don't know who's on at the moment, so I'm just going to refresh the page. And um, underneath this video, you'll see the comments. Um, just type into the comments section to let me know who's there, because um, using Google Hangouts, I don't actually know who's watching and who's there. So if I don't know you, if I've never met you before, it would be great to connect with you and just find out who is actually on the page and I know more and more people will be coming in. We've had I think about 130 people register so far and I know there's going to be many other people coming in from other places as well so just hey who's that let me have a look Roger how you doing Roger good to see you Roger so the good thing with the comments that we've got below is that it's instant so I get quick notification now you can see me on two separate cameras um, you see me on the one this is the one I'm looking at now, this is the one I'm going to be presenting on, but at the same time I'm also going to be using um, a kind of screen share and PowerPoint. Who else is here? There must be some more people here by now. I know a few people are coming on another, coming off another webinar. Uh, again, if you're here, just, hey Deb, how you doing Deb, and great to see you. Type into the comments below. I know it's a new commenting system, so um, we're just going to... Hey, Helene. How you doing, Helene? Is it Helene or Helen? Helen. Helen or Helene? I have to get your name right. I, I apologize if I pronounce it wrong. Who else have we got? Keep the comments coming in, because we're going to be sharing some pretty important stuff today, but I want to see who's here, who's active. I know this is a new commenting system, so it's it's a a lot better than Facebook comments because Facebook comments tends to lag so every time it comes in I have to refresh the screen but now I can just look over at that computer I can see all of the information all of the comments coming in so hey George how you doing George good to see you George I'm glad you got your um, your pages set up you've been pretty busy by the sounds of it over the last few days listening to what you've been up to Deborah good to see you Deborah or Deb all right, well, we'll get started in about two or three minutes. I just want to make sure there's a few more people first. So, again, keep your comments coming in. Sign in below into the commenting system. Should be pretty easy to do. I think you can sign in using your Facebook um, ID or your Twitter ID or your Google ID or just, um, just sign in as yourself. Merle, hey, Merle. How you doing, Merle? As I said, we actually had about 100 and I think it was 130 something registered for this webinar. So this is a webinar that I was going to be doing a few uh, months ago, in fact. And I think Google had a bit of an issue at the time and Google Hangouts didn't show correctly. It wouldn't, wouldn't live broadcast. So basically we had to um, postpone that. And then I had my son, Ben, um, and now he's, uh, he's nearly eight weeks. I think he's eight weeks old on Friday. So it's amazing where time goes, isn't it? Hey, William. How you doing, William? Who else is here? Let's post into the commenting box. Let's get the interaction going because I need your interaction. I need to bounce ideas off you um, and, and just kind of find out a bit more about what you're doing and what your challenges are online at the moment. Um, if, you, if you see me looking from left to right, it's because I'm looking at the comments on that screen. Hey, PPI team, who's that? PPI team, who's that? How you doing? So I don't see a photo and also um, it hasn't come in as your proper name. I see you just deleted that, so maybe you'll come back as your real person. Got to keep going, Gavin. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, George. All right, so a couple more minutes and we'll get started. If you're watching this on replay, you feel free to fast forward um, for the next couple of minutes and then we're going to get started. Um, who else have we got on? Andy, how you doing, Andy? Great to see you, Andy. Victoria, fantastic. I posted invites everywhere. I hope some I invited come. Yep, definitely. I'm, I, I'll double check. I can, I can check and see um, if any, if you referred anybody here, uh, Deb. But that would be great. Um, and you did a fantastic job. And it, I, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody. Um, Laura. How are you doing, Laura? It's fantastic to see you, Laura. How are you? I'm looking back at my other screen so I can see when you replied.
reply, but I haven't heard from you for a while, actually, and it's great to connect. You know, it's been a year nearly since we started Networking Superstars. A year. Wow, doesn't time fly? Hey, Graham. Glad, glad for you to be here, Victoria, definitely. So I know there's a few other people, or probably quite a few people, who aren't interacting and prefer to remain anonymous and that's okay but you know this is this is the internet and the internet's so lonely just to work on your own sitting behind your computer not to interact with other people and I find and I know many other people find that when you actually get out there you interact and you make friends and you connect you find that there's a whole new world out there and that's what we have here at Networking Superstars. Hey Keris, Beth how you doing? Did you make it to the last webinar, Beth, as well? Because I know you said you might have a few challenges with the um, the Rippling webinar that um, Angus and Debbie just put on, which unfortunately I wasn't able to attend um, due to getting Ben sorted out and preparation still for this. Anybody else? Anybody else? I didn't know if I go to in a sec. PPI is our Empower team. Cool. Hey Jenny, good to see you Jenny. So everybody interacting and we'll I'll, I'll be asking you questions as we go. I know this is a new comment in system so it's going to take a little bit to get used to but the great thing is it's instant and you type in and it appears and I can just peer, peep across and I can see all the comments that are, are coming in which really helps me because it's like it feels like you're here in my office with me and we're having a conversation and a chat and that's what it should be about shouldn't it? So this this webinar is all about instant attraction because there's a specific process, there's specific steps, there's specific things that you need to have in place and that you need to do on the internet in order to be recognized, in order to be seen as an expert, in order to be seen as credible because most people will just ignore you. I mean how many people would you say there are in our industry? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, millions in fact. Well, on the internet, yes, there's, a, there's less, but there's still a huge amount of competition. So what makes you stand out from the crowd? What makes you different to everybody else? And as I said, there's a, there's a number of things you can do, little tweaks, and it, it doesn't have to be much, but it separates you from everybody else. It helps you show your personality and your brand. Um, there's a couple of aesthetic things and there's a couple of um, tweaks that you can make to your blog and to your website and pages that you can add in order to literally, when somebody comes to your website, it's like, I want to do business with that person. I want to get to know them a bit more. They're not just coming to a faceless, boring, dull, gray website. They come into a lively, exciting, vibrant blog and they want to join they want to submit their email address into whatever it is you have to offer. They want to contact you because they like the look of what you do. And there's a number of things you can do to greatly enhance that. So if I could share a couple of things like that, is that something that you'd want to know about? Just type into the box and let me know. Hey Wayne, hey Crystal, hey Bruno. So if I could share a couple of things that would help you with that, is that something you'd want to know about? Again, just type into the box and just let me know yes or no. <laughs> okay, there's a very slight delay by the looks of it on the comments. Okay, as soon as I get the yeses, I'll move on. Let's see how long the lag is on this. Okay, so uh, I can see a few coming through. Um, one thing that we did, um, and one thing that many of you have done, and let me just share my screen very quickly, um, and then I, I want, let me find, give me two seconds to get to where I want to go, okay, two seconds, and then I'll bring the page up that I want to share with you. So if you look underneath um, the video, you'll see um, a link. That link will go through to click here to enter the personal branding contest. And if you haven't already done that,
click on that link to go through to the personal branding contest. Uh, you can probably see my screen right now, I think. Let me just refresh and make sure it can. You can probably see my screen. So if you click there to go through to the personal branding contest, if you haven't done it already, I'm going to be giving away $47 worth of graphics on this specific uh, webinar. In fact, I'm going to draw it tomorrow morning now. Um, I was going to be drawing it live on the webinar, but unfortunately, um, with a few things that have happened, I haven't had a chance to pull everybody's name out yet. So if you can see right there, you can probably see that um, underneath the, the, the box, um, the enter to win, just type in your comments to the answers. And the questions, it's pretty easy really. Um, number one is, what is the most important page you absolutely must have on your website to ensure your perfect prospect gets to know, like, and trust you fast. Number two, what are the five social media channels that your prospects will be searching for you on? Because if you don't have a strong brand and presence on there, you can literally kiss goodbye to making money online because there are, there, there are specific places to put your branding on. And in order to get the attention and get people to be interested in you, you've got to know where they are. So you probably know that already. So make sure you enter the contest. Again, as I said, below this video is a link. Um, that link will take you through to the... Um, sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments as we go. Uh, where it says, click here to enter the personal branding contest. Okay. So I'm just going to move on because let me just get my presentation up, my actual PowerPoint presentation up. Uh, I say PowerPoint. PowerPoint's not very exciting, but the way that I do it hopefully is a bit more exciting than the way most people do it. <laughs> All right. So now I know there's a little bit of a time lag, so I just want to see if I've missed anything below. Hey, Tians. Hey. How you doing, Tians? Hey, Leslie. Good to see you, Leslie. Angus. How you doing, Angus? Rich, Maggie, Richard Tia. Fantastic. Laura's there. Roger, Andy Piper. Fantastic. So we've got some great people. If anyone's here that hasn't commented yet, please comment because I'd love to know that you're actually watching and you're actually here. As I said before, it's great to um, to reach out and to connect with real people. So this is what we're going to learn: instant attraction. This is what I've just gone through which is winning $47 worth of personal branding graphics when you answer these two questions. We have to answer them on the blog, on the Facebook, um, uh, on the Facebook fan page. And again, the link is below. So I've got a slight delay, therefore it's throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so there are four elements of an attention-grabbing brand four elements. Now, when you go to somebody's blog and you see a header, there's four things that a header should really have. Do you know what they are? Can you have a guess what they are? Again, type into the box and let me know what you think the four elements are. In fact, let me bring up Collie. Good to see you, Collie. Let me just bring up my um, I'm going to have to bring up another page. This is challenge with Google is it's not actually that easy to change screens. Where are we going? Okay, let me bring this one up. Okay, so you can see my blog header right there. What do you think the four things are that you need on the blog header? Let me just hide that. Again, type into the box. We've definitely got a delay here between... So I'm not a actually able to interact with you as much as I'd like to, which is unfortunate. Yes, I want to know more. Wow, we are actually about two minutes behind, by the looks of it, from me actually um, talking to you, getting my message. <laughs> so we are a bit behind. So I'm going to get your answers as we come through, by the looks of it. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jax. Hey, Bruno. Hey, Mil uh, Milos. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to move on and and we're just going to have to um, I, I, 
I'll, I'll get your answers as you come through, basically. Um, but I know we're about two, about a minute to two minutes behind, so um, whatever's going on, I'm not sure. But number one is AIDA, yeah, yes. Uh, attention, interest, desire, and action, I think, Andy. Again, we're going to get a slight delay there. So let me, let me just tell you what they are. A picture of yourself, Victoria says. Uh, yes. Um, a strong photo, photo or image. You need to have something on your blog header, a photo or an image of you, because at the end of the day, it's you that stands out from the crowd, isn't it? It's you that's different to everybody else. I mean, if you take a look at that page, you can see me on the left, and it's, it's Gavin Mountford's networking superstar, so it's personal branding. Yes, it's a community. Yes, it's a group. But when people come to it, they can relate to a person. And this is what you need to be doing as well. Find some way of positioning yourself as the expert, not just your community or your tribe, but you as the leader or the owner of that community will make a huge difference. So I'm going to take this. Um, I'm going to come back to the... Um, I'm going to go through next. I know there's a few more comments coming in, which is great. I'm just going to switch myself back to the presentation I was on. Okay, let me scroll down again. Picture name, tagline, Beth says. So, yep, yeah, name um, or uh, personal brand. So mine was Gavin Mountford's Networking Superstars. So it's got the brand in it, Networking Superstars, and it's got my name, Gavin Mountford. Um, it's also got a photo, an image of me. Anybody else? Tagline related to your niche? Yep, tagline definitely. Uh, tagline or slogan? Tag line or slogan. And did anyone else say the other one? There's one other. I'm not sure if anybody said it yet, but you might well have done. Social proof, picture of you, can't see you, Gavin, and the comment box. Is that the same for everyone? That's weird. Yeah, hopefully you can now, and hopefully it's back. Um, last one is your website URL. Your website URL. So these are the four essential elements of an attention-grabbing brand. Now, ask yourself this. Which of these do you have in place? So on your blog, or your fan page, your blog, or your fan page, or your YouTube, or should I say and, so blog and fan page and YouTube and Twitter. You know, if you're not branding yourself across each of these social networks, you're missing out on a large piece of the puzzle because people will only join you, and, and you've heard this and you've heard me talk about this many, many times with the KLT uh, factor, and I might go into a bit more detail about that later, but people have got to know you. They've got to like you. They've got to trust you. They know you by searching for you and getting to find you through the content that you create. The only way they're going to like you and know you and trust you really is when they can see you. Ideally, when they can see you um, on camera like this right now, or if not, when they can see you on your website, when they can see you in your header. Does that all make sense? So ask yourself, which ones of these do you have at the moment, and which ones do you not have yet? And let me just give you a couple of examples of um, an attention-grabbing brand. Now, um, I work very closely with my own graphic designer, um, Attila, and I've worked with him, I think, for probably close to uh, five years now. He's done mostly work for me. Um, I've never really... Um, I've never really let him out of uh, into my circle effectively. So I've never really allowed anybody else to have their graphics done. There's a few people that have come in and a few people that have had them done, but I trust him and pretty much every graphic that I personally create, um, he, he has done for me. So anything you've seen before um, from me is done by my designer. So if we have a quick look here, and I, I think you can see Again, I can't tell, unfortunately, because of the the lag on the broadcast. But if you have a look here, and a few of you might remember Beth Allen from several years ago. Uh, Beth Hewitt, you might remember Beth. Um, Beth, uh, we designed Beth's um, Twitter 
I mean, when you come across a Twitter box like this, or a Twitter image, do you think this grabs your attention? It screams attention. Look at me. I'm different. I'm somebody unique. Beth's put here, she's put a little bubble with a bit more about her so people know who she is. Here it says, connect with me on my blog, meetbethallen.com. Let's connect on Facebook, Meet Beth Allen. And you can see some of the hobby pictures that she does. So this is branding her, branding her, her personally. It's got Beth Allen at the top. Um, it's got the URL. It's got a tagline slogan. And it's got a picture. So it's got all the essential elements. And this is a Twitter profile. So if you didn't realize you can do this with Twitter, you can. And it's incredibly powerful when you do it. So if you don't have it done, again, I strongly recommend uh, thinking about at least getting your brand created on multiple sites. This is just one thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, with networking superstars, as I've, as I've previously shown you a few minutes ago, you can see here my name, so it's branding me, image, branding me, um, um, URL right there, and tagline and slogan right there. I'm actually in the process of changing this header, so we've got many more of the new leaders and people that have been with us now for the last 12 months are going to be coming on here and I'm going to be removing some of the people that are no longer with us um, which is such a shame because it's been great to, to kind of work with these people throughout Networking Superstars. This is the YouTube channel, uh, one of my YouTube channels um, as you can probably see right there. Um, so again it's got my own personal brand on it, it got me next to it it kind of, uh, you know, from sitting from my perspective right now, sitting from here, it kind of seems a little bit egotistical, and it's not meant to be, and it's actually not. Um, but it it allows me to stand out from the crowd and to be different to everybody else. It allows you to stand out from the crowd, and at the end of the day, you've got skills that other people can benefit from, haven't you? I mean think about it, what skills do you actually have? You've got incredible life experiences, you've got incredible knowledge that you've picked up from places that many other people haven't and it's up to you to position yourself in such a way that people pay attention to you and people listen to you, people join you because if they don't they're going to go to somebody else and they're never going to benefit from experience and from your wisdom and from your knowledge and from your skills. Let me just check comments quickly because I know there's a few more coming in. It's my sister Beth Allen. <laughs> I used to think it was. Yes, La Laura did. We um, La um, Attila did some work for you, Larry and Laura Morris. Fantastic. Rome wasn't built in a day. Trying to get into the comments, your keywords. Okay, fantastic. So we're getting some great feedback and comments below. Um, we did one recently for Adam Payne. Now, I'm not sure if Adam's on right now because I think it's middle of the night for him. But, you know, we've got, what have we got here? We've got, um, we've got um, image, we've got URL, we've got tagline, we've got photos. And we've got kind of dream lifestyle. This was another graphic that we did for Adam. Now, as I said, um, I've, I've pretty much kept my design very close to me, so I haven't um, opened it up to other people. Um, he does charge. He's, uh, he's not expensive, but he does charge a fair bit. And what I'm going to do for you at the end of this session is what I do for my, my private team members and people that are in our programs, um, I do a, a, I find a discount basically. So I work together with my designer to make sure my clients can get a good offer on their blog graphics. Um, and in the back of our, our members area, there's a there's an offer there. But what I'm going to do today, um, and I'll show you a little bit later, is I'm going to open this up so you can get your blog header created. So you can get your Twitter graphics, your YouTube graphics, um, and your fan page header created for a, a pretty good price. Now the best bit about it is you do not pay now. You do not pay now. You pay later when you're happy with it. 
which means there's no risk on your part. Now, Attila, my designer, will usually do three uh, revisions for you three revisions for you so you can say no I don't like it or I want that changed or can you do that and he'll do another one he'll do another one for free so you will not pay for that once you're happy with your header then you pay that is a great way to see your product before it's like buy now pay later effectively is that right buy now pay later yes that's exactly right all right this is what else he's done. I'm, I'm going to move through to um, the five satellite channels very shortly. But um, again, VIP Wealth Academy, it's all about personal branding. I'll move through. This is the Twitter. Um, if you've never seen a Twitter, and this is um, Angus, you might laugh a little bit at me here. Um, but this is, um, I think it's me about seven years ago, maybe. Looking like a 10 year old boy. <laughs> just seeing if there's any other comments that I've missed so far so um, watch what you say Angus I know, you, <laughs> I know you've had a little bit of a laugh and a giggle before no, I'm only joking um, other thing is uh, if you've got a product again make sure you have your product graphics created product graphics set up because nothing screams amateur than getting something on Fiverr or getting doing something yourself unfortunately and I'm not saying that to be harsh I'm saying that to be true it wants to look professional it needs to look professional because there's so many professional people out there there's so many people that are already standing above your shoulders you've just got to step up to that level to be able to show them that you mean business and that you're real because otherwise you're playing in the lower divisions you're playing in the the football matches you're instead of playing at the premiership level in the UK at the top level of your game you're playing in divisions 2 and 3 if you don't have that brand that graphics set up littlewood's catalog model i know there's a little bit of a delay leslie says lol <laughs> All right, so the most important page on your website or blog. Uh, most of you got this right, so congratulations. <laughs> um, congratulations. So most of you already got this right, and I've, if you've been on any of my trainings before, then you'll know um, exactly about this, and you'll know how to create it. I mean, in our VIP Wealth Academy, uh, we go through the, um, the story it's your story really which is the about me page but it needs to be crafted in such a way that grabs people's attention it needs to be personal real down to earth open honest kind just take people through a journey in your page lead them to the call to action at the end but you need to have an about me page on your blog five years ago Tian says five years it probably is yeah I've probably known you for two or three of those years Tian's maybe maybe longer so just out of interest who's got their about me page already set up and their story set up I'm going to have to come back to this question in a second because I know there's a bit of a um, a bit of a delay and a bit of a time lag, unfortunately. So I'll come back to this page. I thought that Google Hangouts would be instant. Now it seems that there's a slight delay from where I am here to where you are, and I thrive on getting instant feedback from you, but I can't get it at the moment, which is such a shame. It's just the way that um, Hangouts is. It might be my internet connection. It might be um, just looking at some comments. Okay, so the five satellite channels you, you must have a strong brand on. Um, let me go into this in a second. I just wanted to cover something very quickly. Um, many of you have been through this before, and that is the five step internet cash flow formula the five-step internet cash flow formula because if you're struggling on the internet right now if you're not making money on the internet right now 
then it's because you don't have the flow and the funnel in place. Now, there's essentially five parts to this. Let me just illustrate and let me draw it for you and just have a look and think about what do you not have at the moment? What, do you, what don't you have in place yet? So, the five elements. You've got to, well, let, let me draw it in a kind of a reverse order um, or a slightly backwards order. You've got to somehow create a capture mechanism, capture. So capture page. That can be, let me just give you an, let, in fact, let me draw it and then I'll give you an illustration. So capture page. Now you can have that on Facebook in a custom tab. Uh, I've, we've got many of our team members now. Um, literally, we're just going through this process, and I'm just teaching them. And many of them have set up their custom Facebook tabs now to drive traffic to that tab. Um, the capture page can be uh, pop-ups on your blog. Pop-ups. It can be a, a standard capture page, but you've got to have a way to capture leads and build your list because your list becomes your asset. So once people go into your capture page they ultimately go into your list and then you send follow-up emails over a period of time now many of you know this many of you've seen this but sometimes hearing it again from a different perspective really helps so your capture page so how do you get people to your capture page what do you do you've got to do something to get people to your capture page haven't you well what you've got to do is essentially You've got to create content. And I'm just going to put little bits of content out here. So some videos, some Facebook status updates, some emails to your list, some blog posts. Lots of little bits of content. And what that content does, this content really is where the branding takes place, branding. So you're branding yourself, your individuality, you're teaching people, you're training people, you're helping people, making a difference. But they see you, they get to know you, and it's like, let me click on that link, and they come through to your capture page. Click on another link, they come through to your capture page. Maybe next time you put a piece of content out, they come through to your capture page. Your capture page adds them to your list. Your list follows up. And when your list follows up, it sends them to an offer. And again, members of our Pure Leverage team have this entire process done for them right now. Something I've created for you with VIP Wealth Academy. And you learn, you know, you've, you, you're aware that you've learned or you're learning this process. You're learning exactly how to do it. And, you know, there's tons of trainings in the back office. And I'll, I'll show you a, a quick sneak peek in a second. But essentially what happens is you send people through to your offer. Now, if you don't have this set up yet, you need to start to think about how you can set this up. Because if you don't have it, then you're losing the process. So people go to your offer. The second email comes out, they go to your offer. The next email to your offer, it could be your own product. It could be your MLM. It could be a community that you have. But they go into your offer. So what have we got so far? We've got your capture page. So I call that um, Get Leads. Now before Get Leads, you've effectively got to put content out there and then drive traffic to the capture page. Now the traffic can be done in many ways. Facebook, pay-per-click, solo ads, blogging. You, know, you could have your blog here sending traffic back to the the capture page. So if, effectively you've got to get content, you've got to get traffic to the content and from the content to the capture page and then you get the leads and you capture them but from getting the leads something else has to happen. My comments box is below the video, so I'm scrolling up and down all the time. How do I get it to the side, or isn't that possible? Rich says, um, it's not. And actually, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm playing with this commenting system, actually, and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be something for the long term. I'm always looking to push the boundaries and see what works and what's better 
and what we can do different. So, um, Rich, I'm not sure there's a way to get the comments uh, to the side. So, yeah, I apologize about that. So I'm, I'm going to look at a different solution, and I think I may go back to just using pure leverage. But I, I wanted a way to give you links instantly so you can click on the links on this page. Um, so what comes after get leads? So once you've got the leads, you've got to effectively now get the people to convert. When I say convert, what I mean is get them to click on your links, get them to take action. Because if you've been through, and I'm not going to go into detail about this, if you've been through my circle of influence and the KLT factor, you'll know that people have got to be in your inner circles before they buy from you, before they join you. They've got to know you. You've got to build the know, like, and trust factor. So in order to do that, you can persuade and influence and learn how to do that using um, different principles and psychological um, triggers that persuade people to, to take action and to move. Um, so I call that get clicks. Now one big thing that we do here in um, VIP Wealth Academy, and let me just, before I go into the next bit, I just want to uh, pop back onto this screen and just say hi again. Uh, I just want to share one thing with you. Let me just find out where it is first before I do that. Uh, found it. I'm going to go through the satellite channels in a second. Screen share, and I'm going to screen share this. You can just click on the little box to the right and takes you to comments, then click to go back up. Cool, Merle, I didn't know that. I'll, uh, I'll check that out. Anybody that hasn't commented yet that's watching, it looks like there's 75 people or so watching, so great to see you all. Um, just leave a comment below because I'd like to know who's here. Tillman's team, hey Tillman's, uh, I don't know if you're Tillman's team or Tillman, but good to see you. Uh, anybody else that I've missed? Leave a quick comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, Collie? Yep. Okay, so um, this is the back office of VIP Wealth Academy. This is the training program that I've set up for our team. Um, essentially, and the last element to what I was just sharing with you is consult and close. Now if we go into the magnetic content creator training you can see here we've got the magnetic content funnel which shows you how to flow your content, how to create the content, send people from Facebook to your fan page, to your capture page, from your blog. We've got the seven perfect Facebook status updates. If you're not using your fan page correctly then you're losing out on a massive amount of traffic. Um, and if you look at the Networking Superstars fan page, you know there's about 315 fans, that's it. But my comments and my posts are getting between 20 and 40 uh, comments a day at the moment. It's the interaction that brings it back in front of people. So if you don't know how to do that yet, this training is critical to teach you and for you to learn. Um, how to use micro-persuasion to get your prospects to take action how to persuade and influence people from video. I teach that. And I also teach, this is what I was talking about before, and I know I've gone off on a slight tangent, but I just wanted to sit, get you to see the big picture for a second. The story selling sales model. If you want to know how to write your About Me page, how to write your story correctly, this video right here in Module uh, 2, the Magnetic Content Creator, teaches you exactly how to do that. Let me just go back up to the next uh, Traffic Mastery Vault. Right now we've got free traffic explosion created, uh, teaching how to generate traffic from blogs and f using tribes and working together. But over the next couple of weeks I'm, I'm going to be teaching solo ad tr training and uh, Facebook pay-per-click. So how to actually generate traffic from those places to go through to your capture page, to go into your funnel. But again, we've got that done for you already, so everything is taken care of. But the biggest thing that I wanted to talk to you about briefly, um, before I'm going off again on a slight tan tangent, but we've got many people here who have been through and are going through. Just out of interest, guys, who's going through 
the VIP Wealth Academy training at the moment. And I know there's going to be a slight delay here. Debbie, how you doing, Debbie? And your Yatunda as well. Fantastic. Ron West, fantastic. Yeah, just out of interest, who's been through or is going through some of the VIP Wealth Academy training? Leave a comment um, below just so other people that are here can see how much value um, people get from this. And if there's a missing piece of the puzzle, if you don't have everything in place yet in your business, then there is a way to fit it together. And there's a community of like-minded people all working together to help each other to grow, to make a difference in your life and other people's lives. And you know, I could t I could sit here and talk about money and you making income all day long, but at the end of the day, it's about growing, isn't it? It's about moving forward, fitting the pieces together so you can brand yourself. Um, with the ultimate capture formula, uh, what we've got at the moment, and this is there's, there's a couple of things I'm teaching people how to do. If you look at uh, my fan page at the moment, or the Networking Superstars fan page, um, if I go to the free vids tab, uh, I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you will see that in a second. Hey Lance, Lovejoy, fantastic Lance. Are you own Tillman's team? Oh, fantastic. Rachel Hall's going through the training. Mark HD, yes. Leslie, yes, I have. Yes. Jax, yes. Wayne, yes. So many people coming through now. Mel says so she's going through previous trainings. If you take a look at this page here, this is a Facebook custom tab. So when people are on our fan page, they click on here and they go into the autoresponder sequence, which follows up to send people into our opportunity. Now, again, all of our team and people that work closely with me in the multiple opportunities that we're in get access to done-for-you templates like this. Um, the other, which is incredibly powerful, and if you're not using it yet, you absolutely, um, well, let, let me just show you. I'm guessing most people, and you have probably got a blog at the moment, your blog is a great way to grab names and email addresses, or just email addresses, but once you capture the email address, they join your list. Your list becomes your asset. You can follow up with that list forever, forever and ever. Your list becomes your biggest asset. Um, what I'm teaching people to do at the moment, and for my team now, um, or our team that's on now, if you haven't got this set up yet, make sure you go through the system setup training because recently I've put in this new module. The new module that show, uh, it literally gives you the done for you file to add these boxes. So you can see a pop up box there right on the blog. You get this exact template. You can see the side. Uh, banner here that's an opt in here. You get the exact template again literally just follow a few instructions uh, you can see one right here a recruit like crazy at the bottom of the blog there's a really powerful one which um, I, I'm not gonna be able to show you at the moment in fact there's a couple and um, because I've added live fire it's actually made it disappear so um, but a, a very powerful one and if you haven't got this set up already um, subscribers magnet is what I actually use and what we use as a team so if you haven't um, got this on your blog, make sure you go back to the person who referred you and purchased because you can set up about five or six different places or locations on your blog that you can capture names and email addresses or just email addresses as I do. Ron says building his blog with Optimized Press, late, learning later from Collie, fantastic. Okay, so let me get back to where I was. Um, so yeah, we've got several different capture mechanisms in place, but the final thing, I, I've still got module five to go through yet. Module five is the communicate and follow up, which effectively is what I was talking about before, the get clicks. So uh, a couple of the module titles uh, create the hunger formula and get people excited for what it is you have to offer. Create your hook and keep people on until the end of the webinar, the end of the video. There's a specific way to do it. And you may notice, and I, I don't know whether I should tell you this, because uh, I don't necessarily want to give you all my secrets. I do. I'm only joking. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to reveal all. But 
the way that I teach and the way that I speak and the way that I train, I'm deliberately losing my train of thought because it keeps people on the edge of their seats because it's like, I wanted to know what module six was or I wanted to know what the, f do, 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 you rem do you remember when I, I went, do you remember when I was writing out the, um, the five step process a few minutes ago and I went through the diagrams and the capture pages and I didn't finish, um, the, I didn't put the end bit in so I didn't put the the last part in the fifth step well that's called the zygonic effect or the zygonic principle and it's what soaps do all the time it's what cliffhangers it's like I just want to know what it is let me know what the answer is and it keeps people waiting and sitting there and listening and paying attention until I actually reveal that last point and I'm going to tell you in a second what it is, but I just, you know, this is what I teach our members because there are ways for you to ca capture people's attention and to bring people through, to get leads and to, to generate traffic from your blog and capture people, send them through and build a relationship. It's, it sounds like an absolute minefield, but when you break it down into these five points and follow the trainings as I've created, it's easy. I promise you it's easy. You've literally got to go through step by step and get it done. Refresh your screen. Let me just check. I've started to go through. I don't have a picture. Google Hangout chat. Yeah, I don't think you can use Google Hangout chat um, because you can if you're using webinars on air, but I don't think you could use it um, as you're watching it streaming. So let, let, me, let me go through what I wanted to teach you at the end, um, and that is... Let me just get to the right browser. Okay, so I'm back here. How are you doing? Okay, let me uh, get back to here. Um, something called the consultative approach. Let me uh, new slide. The consultative approach, and many of you who are in my team haven't actually. Um, got to this module yet, but essentially, and I'm, I'm not going to take too long, but step five is get sales. Because it's possible to make multiple streams of income from just one person. Just one person. But you need to know how to do it. You need to know the process. Now, I like to... Um, we're, we're probably only going to go for another... We'll go till 10 o'clock, so we'll go for another 20 minutes and, and then we'll wrap up. Um, but essentially, and you may, if you're not taking notes, you you may want to do that. Um, but essentially, um, over here in the UK and and probably over in the US as well, you know, we've we've got. I, I know you have a healthcare system, but we've got a doctors, uh, a doctor's surgery. And if somebody's ill, if somebody's got a sore throat, or they've got a cold, or they've got the flu, you know, they'll go to the doctor, and the doctor or the consultant uh, will sit down with them and will ask questions. It's like so. Uh, how can I help you today or, or what seems to be the problem oh well I've got a sore throat I'm not feeling very well okay um, anything else yeah you know I've got a temperature I'm, I'm a bit hot um, and, and, and is that it or um, uh, do you have any other symptoms well you know my little toes hurting as well <laughs> and, and, and you see so the doctor or the consultant is uncovering the patient's problems and challenges and pains because only when the doctor or the consultant knows those problems, pains and challenges can he or she provide a solution. And that's the same with the internet. That's the same with you and your prospects. Many people feel overwhelmed. You may be in the same position. But actually, if you think about it, let's say you're here. You've got your, um, your, your prospects here. And you're talking to, uh, I don't know, five, ten, twenty different people. Maybe you're just talking to one different person. They've got pains. They've got problems. They've got challenges. Let's change. Let me. Um, yeah, they've got pains. They've got problems. They've got challenges. When you speak to one person, you have an arsenal of programs. You could be in pure leverage. You could be in My Lead System Pro. You could be in Empower Network. You could be an affiliate of Optimize Press. 
You could be an affiliate of Subscribers Magnet. You could be an affiliate of Tribe Traffic Mastery, one of my programs, or The Results Machine, one of my programs, or Double Your Business Productivity, one of my programs. And again, all of these things, you might think, oh my goodness, how do I cope? How can I deal with it? There's too much going on. I can't promote it all. Well, actually, you don't need to. Actually, all you need to do is speak to people on the phone for, I, I normally say, 30 minutes. You need to ask questions like a doctor or a consultant would. Find out the problems and the challenges. Well, yeah, you know, the problem I've got is um, I, I don't know how to generate leads yet. That's what your client says. Well, you say, what capture mechanisms do you have in place? Have you used Optimize Press yet? Well, no, I've never heard of it before. I don't even have an autoresponder. Okay, great. Well, what I recommend if you want to capture leads, build a list and build a business, you need to... Um, uh, use Pure Leverage or AWeber or um, you know an autoresponder system and you need to have a capture mechanism in place. What I'd like to do is um, send you my affiliate link, is that okay? So it, when you buy, you buy through me because I've given you essentially, and you don't necessarily need to say this, but essentially you're giving somebody 30 minutes of your time. Now it's only fair that that person buys back, buys the programs that you recommend to help them through you. But you've got to do this with integrity. You know, if that person's already in a network marketing business and they're happy and everything's working fine and everything's great, then it's not fair for you to try to get them into your own primary business. Only if it's a fit for that person, only if it helps them. But it just shows the consultative, and I teach this in detail in our programs, um, the consultative approach helps you make multiple streams of income from each person and we set up a funnel so if you're in multiple opportunities you know we, we have um, pure leverage we have MLSP my lead system pro we have um, empower network empower network uh, I've actually got a system called VIP wealth Academy and many of you have already done this um, but you drive traffic to one capture page here which sends people through a funnel and into one of those opportunities pure leverage MLSP or empower but you speak to the person for 30 minutes on the phone in a consultation and you find out what would be a fit for that person if none of these programs fit if they're already happy then maybe optimize press would help maybe subscribers magnet would help maybe tribe traffic mastery would help but this is consultative approach how to get sales. Let me go through the five satellite channels that you must have a strong brand on. Are you all following this at the moment? Am I going into too much detail? <laughs> Scrolling up and down. Yes, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Um, I'll, I'll try and get it fixed. Just have to refresh the page. But fourth time crashed with an error. Um, Rich, is that the commenting system that's crashed or is that the um, hangout or the page that's crashed? So a few people have had a few issues. Looks like with the commenting system. Um, I probably won't use this commenting system again from your feedback. So I appreciate your feedback. I really do. Um, because at the end of the day, I, I'm doing this. I'm using this software because I'm exploring new possibilities. I want to work out what works and what doesn't work um, and what's beneficial. So I've seen that this works well, but it doesn't appear too live. So what have we got? Your five satellite channels. Well, many of you have already answered this before. So we've got your blog. You've got to have a blog. You have to. It's got to be self-hosted. Self-hosted. That means on your own domain, ideally with your own name. So yourname.com, you know, gavinmountford.com. You know, yes, I am building up Networking Superstar, um, but that's for a different purpose. That's for a brand, a, a big global brand that I'm building with other people. Uh, yes, it has got my name on the top of it, so I'm still branding myself in the process. Uh, you've got to have a Facebook account. But most importantly, you've got to have a fan page. Video crashes. Video crashes? Hmm following trying to take it all in excellent late but catching up hey Darren good to see you Darren Jack's yes and no following just fine very cool easy to follow 
<laughs> cool, good. Yes, so it seems like the commenting system in the video screen keeps freezing. Interesting. Maybe there's a lag by the sounds of it on um, Google Plus today. Probably the last time I'll use that for a while. Okay, number three, uh, YouTube. You've got to have a YouTube account. Video. If you haven't done video yet, why not? Why not? There's so much training around. In the VIP Wealth Academy, I teach you exactly how to create the process and the funnel um, through your videos, the create the hunger formula, the hook, the open loops that I've been doing throughout this presentation, keeping people on the edge of their seat until the end of the presentation because people want to know more. I teach you that. So if you haven't done video yet, it's time to do it. Uh, number four, your Twitter account. Now, to be honest, I don't actually use Twitter as much as I used to. Um, I don't. I don't really see a massive. Um, uh, I don't get a massive amount of traffic from it, but that's probably because I don't use it very well. So you could substitute that for LinkedIn. Uh, and LinkedIn is a professional network, a lot of traffic from it, but again, you probably want to focus in one or two of these areas. Now, what I would focus on is blog. I would focus on Facebook fan page and video because you can create videos. You can post the videos on your fan page. You can post the video on your blog. So, you know, it, it all... Um, I, I, I mean, I do, I've got, I think, maybe five or 6,000 Twitter followers, but again, not many of them click the links. And that's just the way that it is, because I don't spend much time interacting on there. Whereas with Facebook, it's all about the interaction. Number five is Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is huge. You know, if you've got your circles, again, create your brand on there. So what I want to do is give you an opportunity right now Congrats, Ron. I know you've done two videos recently, and it's fantastic, you know, to to actually move forward and to get that set up when you've never done anything like it before. I think it's an incredible achievement. So, I just want to say, you know, congratulations to you for stepping up and really pushing forward because I know you've got a unique brand, um, and and you can really make a difference in a lot of other people's lives because um, there's a lot of people in in the, your position that um, that 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 can be. Um, you can make a difference with. Uh, Mel says she's set everything up. Deb says all good for me. Robin says video crashed, couldn't get back in for ages. Weird, I don't know what's going on here. Roger says video crashed a few times. All it is is Google um, Google hang Hangouts effectively, but I think many of us know that we've had a few issues with Google. Okay, so I want to give you an opportunity that um, is, well, I'm going to give you a, a deadline and a time very shortly, but order now, pay later. Get your blog header done right now. My designer, as a special price, will charge $47, but you do not pay until you're happy with your header. If you're not happy with it, you don't have to pay, or basically, I'll pay for you if you're not happy with it. I trust that you will be happy with it because you're going to get at least, well, I, my designer says three revisions of your header, um, and get your attention grabbing blog header now. If you look underneath this video, you'll see a link. Uh, that link says, uh, order your killer blog header here. Go to that page. Um, let me just bring up my browser very, very quickly. Two seconds. Make sure I'm on the right uh, tab first. Where are we? We are. Sorry, two seconds. We've only got five more minutes and then we'll wrap up. Okay, let me just pause my screen a second. Okay. Okay, so you should now be able to see the page that you're on effectively at the moment page that you're on. So if you scroll down to where it says resources mentioned in the webinar, click on the uh, order your killer blog header here, click on that. That will open up a page that will have a timer at the top or it should have a timer at the top. Um, it says one day, seven hours left. So this I think uh, expires, this offer will expire uh, Friday night in Eastern time. All you've got to do is submit your details 
um, in the form. Uh, we can change this later if necessary, um, but there's an opportunity here if you want to. The graph, the killer head blog header graphic, $47. If you want an eye-catching YouTube background, it's $67. If you want an eye-catching Twitter background, it's $67. If you want a combination of both of the Twitter and YouTube, it's $117. If you want a Facebook group or fan page header, and you can use it for both, it's $47. Uh, if you want any graphics for your products or for any kind of um, e-covers, it's sixty dollars. Again, you can enter all the details um, and copy. You don't necessarily copy mine, but you can model the layout of it or layout of um, other people's, um, and just give us some examples of what you'd like. But as I said before, you don't pay now; you pay later. So I strongly advise, if you're not yet. Um, as successful as you want to be online, then it may be because people aren't paying attention to you because they don't know who you are. So make sure you submit that before tomorrow night. Do it as soon as possible because you'll probably uh, may forget if you don't do it now. So spend a few minutes to fill that out. The last thing I want to encourage you to do, and this is essential. Now, if you're struggling, if you're not making money, if you think there's a better way, if you think that there's a way to make a difference and you've got something that other people want and need or you're not sure which direction to go or you don't know which opportunity to join or you're in an opportunity and you're not making money. You've been online for a year, you're not making money. You've been online for five years, you're not making money. You've been online for one week, you're not making money. Then what I urge you to do is we've got consultants in our team and not just in a network marketing team but people that I work closely with in our community who are happy to spend time with you in a 30 minute chat. Now what I was talking about before about the consultative approach, this is it in action. You can turn around and do this too. Basically anybody that refers people to this webinar, I encourage you to get back to that person submit your details in this form on this page the value of this consultation call is hundred and ninety seven dollars because we as consultants do not give our time away for free for everybody now occasionally we do consult consultations and that's what this is about so fill out the application for a 30-minute consultation at the very bottom where it says who referred you please enter the name of the person who referred you to either Networking Superstars or VIP Wealth Academy, enter the person's name who referred you and I will forward that form onto that person so you have the consultation with them. Now if you came from my my personal email list, um, did somebody else send you to that list in the past? Did somebody else send you to the webinar in the past? Um, because that person is the person that you'll be going to. So make sure you fill out the details, fill out the form. Again, there's a time limit on this because we're not just giving this away to everybody all the time. So you have until tomorrow, as in Friday, uh, PM, to get your consultation request filled out. You'll speak to one of our consultants. You may speak to me. You may speak to um, Beth or Angus or Debbie or um, Robin, uh, any of the people that have referred people and may have referred you. You know, if you clicked on a link on Facebook, go back to that person and type in their name, and they will become the consultant. Because many people are learning. You're learning. We're learning. It's a it's a it's an evolutionary process. So I want you to experience a consultation call with other people. How does it work? How, how does it fit together? How can you use this approach to make money? to make multiple streams of income online. So again, make sure... Yes, video did crash, had to refresh. It's funny, isn't it? Some people are having issues, some people aren't. Um, I, I definitely take that something's wrong with Google today. Mark says, I beg to differ. However, in the competition, you asked for five social media channels. Now you're talking satellite channels, which is slightly different. Thank you for picking me up on that, Mark. I did not spot that error that I made. So um, 
Well, let me just go back to my page a second. Um, so, Mark, what would so what would you what would be different, Mark, about the two from your perspective? Now, for me, social media channels. It's still a blog. It's still Facebook. It's still YouTube. It's still Twitter. It's still Google Plus. Uh, satellite channels. Again, mini channels that drive traffic. So I would still, yeah, I guess you wouldn't class blog as a satellite channel, maybe. Uh, blog would be your central hub, wouldn't it? So actually, if I, if I remove satellite channels from the, um, I'm, just, I'm just looking at Mark's, Mark's comments is, I beg to differ, however, in the competition, yes, for five social media channels. Well, what I'm going to do anyway, um, because I always play fair, um, is everybody that's applied for the contest is, um, you're going to get entered into the draw anyway. And tomorrow, I'm going to send an email out to everybody that's been on today, and I'm going to announce the winner of the contest, because one person will get that. Um, uh, let me just get back to my own screen. One person will win $47 of header. So make sure you submit your details. Make sure you request your free graphic so we can start to get you positioned as an expert. Take advantage of the consultation that we're offering here. As Again, again it will be expired by Friday um, p.m., Friday night. I think it's Friday, Wh whatever the timer says at the moment. Um, and just take advantage of it. You know, Speak to somebody real people who want to make a difference and can help you with the challenges and the problems that you may be facing online right now. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Mark says he's the winner then. You never know, Mark. You might be. Listen, learn, implement such a brilliant system you set up. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. Crashed again, says Gertrude. So, yep, seems like the video is crashing. Robin, good to see you, Robin. We're just about to leave, unfortunately. Um, you may have the times um, slightly different. So I'm going to wrap up now. I'm going to leave this open. I'll send you a message tomorrow. If anyone wants to watch the replay, you can. I'm going to put it, leave it up on the page. But again, the replay is only going to be available for 24 I, I, I lose track of times, to be honest, because um, the US times are slightly different to us. Take your point, but that's right. A blog is, for me, is like you say, central hub. Social media is normally public. Yeah, it's a good discussion, Mark. I definitely, definitely agree. And and it's just probably just an oversight that I've put written the wrong words in. So apologies on that. Um, but thank you. I appreciate it. Just leave me a quick comment to say that you've benefited and enjoyed this. Um, I did that once, and no one called. Karen, really? Who who did who? That's interesting, Karen. Um, do it again, Karen, um, and send me a message when you've done it because what may have happened is your application may somehow have got mixed up with all the others. I don't know what, what happened. Karen says um, she submitted a... a, a f I wonder who, whose name you put in, Karen, as the um, referrer and whether I forwarded that onto the person. But... Definitely submit your details again and send me a personal message, um, and I'll personally speak to you, Karen, if, if it was me that referred you. If not, then um, it'll be the person who did refer you. Um, but I want to say a huge thank you. Um, I hope you've benefited. I hope you've learnt an absolute ton. I'm going to be running these webinars once a week uh, on a Wednesday, and you're welcome to invite people to the webinar. Um, I will be giving out affiliate links for my own products in the future once I've got that set up. Um, but ultimately, this is about you um, bringing people in to consult and to chat and to talk and find out what works and what doesn't work for them and how it can help you. Cheers, Robin. I see you've just come in a few minutes late. That's all right. Um, I know um, we're just over 10 o'clock now here. Um, so thank you again, and, and I'll, I'll catch you all very, very soon. Uh, anybody got any questions, uh, you know, where the Networking Superstars fan page is, feel free to come and ask. But make sure you get your graphics, make sure you submit your application, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again, and take care. Bye.